Welcome to Learn Data with Mark. In this video, we're going to learn how to query the Apache Pinot database using my favorite programming language, which is, of course, Python. What we can see here is we've got a Jupyter notebook. And the first thing we're going to do is install PinotDB, which is the Python driver for Apache Pinot. And once we've done that, we're going to import PinotDB into our script. And now we'll create a connection. Now a connection expects to receive a host and a port, but we don't know what they're gonna be yet. So we'll just put in a placeholder value. And now let's go over to VS Code and have a look at what our host is. So we're actually running all of this using Docker and our host is just gonna be the name of the Pinot Docker container, which in this case is just Pinot. So let's get a copy of that and put it into our script. Now we've got to do the same for the port. So we're gonna go over to the Pinot UI and remember that queries against Pino are done using the broker. So we need to open up the broker and have a look at which port it's running on. So in this case, it's running on port 8000. So let's copy that and put it into our script. Now, the next thing we need to do is we've got to create a cursor. So let's create one of those. Uh, and now we're going to run a query through that cursor. So we're going to go cursor.execute. And we'll put in just a template query. So select it from some sort of table. But we don't know which table yet because we're not sure what tables are available in our database. So let's go back to the Pinot UI again uh, and click on the, the little query view. And you can see we've got lots of different tables that we can choose from. But baseball stats is probably interesting enough. So let's use that for this video. Uh, so we'll get a copy, a copy of that. And then let's put it into our query. So we're going to just select everything from the baseball stats table. Uh, and we can now run that query. And then the results will actually be stored in the cursor. And so what we need to do is we need to iterate over the cursor. So we'll do that in our next cell. And then we'll print out each row to the, um, to the Jupyter Notebook. And so we can see now you've got an array of all those, all those values coming through. So that's working pretty well. Now, just to keep in mind, when you're using this cursor, as soon as you've consumed the results, they're not available anymore. So if you want to get those results back, you need to run the query again. But what we want to do next is let's have a look at, we don't actually know which columns each of those values uh, belong to. So, but it, it, it does exist under the description function. So let's call that. And as you can see now, we've got all the information about the columns. But the thing that we're most interested in is that first field or the first value in the tuple. Uh, and that has the column name. So let's now write a bit of code that goes through the description and pulls out the column name. Uh, and we'll copy that to the clipboard. Uh, and what we're going to do next is we're going to try and put the results into a pandas data frame. So we'll import pandas. We'll, let's call that pd. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go pd.dataframe. And it's going to take in the cursor. And then it's going to take in those column names that we just extracted. And then remember, we've got to go and get the query from above. So let's get that query, bring it down. And now we can, uh, now we can run it with the results going into our data frame. Uh, and if we run that, we can see, hey, look, now we've got a nice data frame. We can see the column names on the top. We've got the rows underneath and everything is all is much easier uh, to consume than it was before. And so that's the end of this video in which we've learned how to query Apache Pinot from Python. And this opens up a whole world of possibilities for what we can do now because Python has loads of libraries for doing cool stuff with data. Uh, and hopefully we'll look at some of those in our next video. So I look forward to seeing you there.